uh, well, they were very painful, very heavy, um, large, getting larger, unsightly, um, and I just thought that I had eaten too much, thought it was my problem. I thought I was putting weight on. Um, but also, I couldn't work out when I was doing exercise and dieting that they didn't change, they didn't reduce. Uh, but it mostly was the pain, it was the pain eventually. Oh, it's been brilliant. First of all, the diagnosis that it was a diagnosable disease meant everything to me because forever I had spent worrying that I had put the weight on. My legs feel lighter, I feel more confident. Psychologically, I know it's not my fault. The shape was great. I could see, straight after the operation, I could see the shape. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. I do just feel lighter mentally and physically, but it was always there, the nagging, you know, you know, um, it, you were on different diets, you, you know, uh, you, you felt, you felt tired, your legs, you felt sore. The whole thing drags you down, it's like a weight on you. But you carry on with your life, um, but no, it's so much better, yeah, yeah. The recovery, um, it was all so much better than I thought it would be. And everything looked fine. Um, it was very clean, very neat, exceptionally neat. Um, and I just, my sister just helped me in and out of the bath. She did the dressings because she wanted to do. Everything healed up really well. And as long as you keep on top of it. Oh, I wore my compression tights, which were fine. Wore the compression tights. That wasn't a hardship because they gave me support. I was able to walk out of the surgery. I took my compression tights off and I thought, oh, I'm going to feel funny without them. But I didn't. My legs were still there. Everything was working. And I've got a shape back in my legs. So I love the shape. The, the pain wasn't as bad as I thought it would be either. I sort of went on to... I stopped taking codeine. I think I had morphine didn't have my operation and the second day, and I didn't like it. I think I was hallucinating and talking rubbish. I didn't think I was. Um, on the Sunday, so I'd had it on the Friday, I just just had codeine, and I think on the Monday I just went to paracetamol. Yes, yeah, and I wish I'd done it earlier. And I didn't know about it. So I think that, you know, like I'm 62 now, I think all young people, the young women who've got it, you've got to do it because it did stop me, it stopped me doing lots of things.